Hello everyone. Today we're going to do one problem from conduction heat transfer uh, preparing for PE exam. Uh, I picked this problem out of thermal and fluid systems reference manual book for mechanical PE exam by Jeffrey Hansen. I'll show you the book itself. This is what I'm going to use to pick some problems and go through the uh, different topics. So let's look at the problem. As you can see, it's a conduction problem. Uh, a double pane window is four feet wide and six feet tall. Each pane is one eighth inch thick and the two panes are separated by an air gap a quarter of inch thick. The film coefficient for the outer pane is 22 BTU per hour foot square Fahrenheit. And that for the inner pane is one and a half BTU foot square Fahrenheit. The window is exposed to inside air at 68 Fahrenheit and, out, and outside air at 15. The total heat transfer through the window is all is most nearly close to A, B, C, D different values for BTU per hour. So the question here is um, to find the total heat loss uh, through the window, through this double pane window. And we are in conduction through uh, multiple layers. So we typically call it composite wall. Um, and, and as you can see, this is not a SI unit problem. This is a US uh, customary system. Then as you know, PE exam, uh, you should be prepared for both SI unit problems and a US customary system problem. So let's go through this, let's do it together. Uh, this is again, composite wall conduction problem. If I'm gonna start putting together a quick a schematic drawing for this, which helps me to solve this um, better, uh, I have layer of window, air gap in between and another layer. So this is air gap. And of course, so this is my 2D view, but if I'm gonna show it in 3D, this is what uh, it looks like. Inside temperature, it was 68 degree of Fahrenheit. So let's say T inside is 68. And H, heat transfer coefficient inside, that's got it H sub I was given as well. The film coefficient of outer pane, so inner pane is 1.5 BTU per hour foot square. So this is 1.5. Fahrenheit outside H is H sub O is 22 BTU per hour foot square Fahrenheit and T outer is given at 15 degree Fahrenheit. So as you can see, the inside is warmer than outside and we know the heat is going from high temperature, medium to low temperature. So that's the direction of heat. Uh, we have the dimensions. So thickness of each pane of the window is one eighth of an inch and the air gap is a quarter of an inch. And this is one over eight. Um, the Area is given as well. So the window is four foot wide and six foot tall. Uh, so my height here is six foot. And into the screen, into the board, the uh, dimension is 
for good. So this way we can find the area. So as you can see, again, I have a double pane window and here is the information I have. So the question is, what's the amount of heat we are losing through this window? So let's go ahead and solve it. Forget it. So to do this, first of all, we need to find, we need to know the thermal conductivity of the glass. And we need to know the thermal conductivity of the air. Uh, of course, it's not given in the problem, but um, P exam is an open book, open note, which means that you should know, uh, you should have access to the table of thermal properties and be able to quickly find it. Maybe in one of the videos, uh, I'll talk about that, but uh, thermal conductivity of the glass for this problem, uh, you can find it to be 0.45 BTU foot per hour foot square Fahrenheit degree. Same thing with the air, you should be able to find it at average temperature of, so K air at 68 plus 15 degree divided by two, which gives you 41 and half degree F. So let's find the thermal conductivity of the air at this average temperature. So in this case, K of air, air would be much lower, which is 0 0.0142, same unit. So, so you should be able to quickly find the thermal conductivity values for the material you want through the tables you have. Now, to solve this, again, composite wall, conduction through composite wall, we are going to use this overall equation. Q is overall heat transfer coefficient times area times temperature of the very left-hand side or T in minus temperature of the very extreme other side. So, so by here again, uh, if you remember about the resistance of each layer in the composite wall, if this is my Ti or Tn, and this is my T out, if I know the delta T across these two points, I can define overall heat transfer coefficient in a way that I can use this equation to find the total amount of heat loss. So again, U is overall heat transfer coefficient. And remember U times A is equal to one over total resistance, right? So in this case, my areas are the same. So U is defined, the overall heat transfer coefficient. Let me start here. U is defined as one over, so UA is one over total resistance. So U is one over resistance without area, right? Because area can be canceled out. So in this case, one over inner heat transfer coefficient. And I have two layer of glass. Each layer has a resistance of L over K. So for glass, and I have one layer of air, so L over K for air gap. And at the end, I have one over outer side convection. Again, for those uh, that you covered this recently, uh, you know that we're talking about resistance. So let me explain quickly that we can substitute each layer with the resistance, right? So going through each layer, I should be able to define those with the resistance. This is how we define it in a composite wall. Whenever we are in convection, in this case here, 
my resistance is one over H A. Same thing here, convection inner side, my resistance is one over H I A. By conduction through the wall, your resistance is thickness L over thermal conductivity times area. Same thing through this pane of the window. And through the air gap, we treat it as a solid wall as well, because there's not much convection inside. So same thing with air gap. L over Ka, but for air information. So, and as, as I said, through the definition of overall heat transfer coefficient, U times A is one over total resistance. And by the way, each of them are one resistance, right? Ri, Ro. So A is simply you drop A's areas from each layer, that's why we have this form. Now that we have this form, let's go ahead and substitute the values. So U overall heat transfer coefficient is nothing but one over, one over inner heat transfer coefficient was 1.5. Uh, you can always put the unit just to double check your work, but if you are very confident, you've done a lot of practice, you can skip the unit so it goes faster. But again, it's recommended to put it in so it's easier at the end to cancel out the terms and make sure you have the consistent unit. <clears throat> and then I have two times L over K for glass. And remember, glass has a thickness of a uh, quarter of inch as, sorry, glass has a thickness of one eighth inch. So which means that 0.125 inch, and you have to convert that to foot. So we divide it by 12 inch, each 12 inch is one foot. So this is what we do to convert the whole thing to foot. And so this is 2L over K. K for glass, we found it to be 0.45 BTU foot per hour, foot square degree Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna add L over K for air now. A quarter of inch, 0.25 inch, I'm gonna can divide it by 12. Since one foot is 12 inch, so I have L and then I have K of air, which is found to be 0 0.0142. Let's write down the unit as well. BTU foot per hour, foot is squared degree F, and I have one more term to go, plus one, let me do this, over outside heat transfer coefficient, which is 22. So let's write down the unit, BTU hour foot squared degree F. So this is my you, um, now you need to use your calculator and find the total value for you. If you do this, your U will be 0.449 and the unit for you must be BTU per hour, foot squared degree Fahrenheit. So let me make it smaller so everyone can see the whole thing. So this is my overall heat transfer coefficient. Again, going back to this equation, we're looking for Q. So far I have U. Uh, I know the inner temperature, outer temperature, let's find area. Again, in composite wall, area is the area that heat is crossing. In this case, if I'm gonna show my area with a green color, 
uh, I have the height of six foot and then length into the board of four foot. This is the area that it is crossing, that's the area I need. So this is my area. In this case, my area would be simply B times H, which is nothing but four foot times six, 24 foot square. So now I have everything, let's quickly, go ahead and calculate the Q. Q was U A T I minus T O, correct? So U was 0.449. Again, I'm gonna put the unit to make sure we are consistent. You can always double check your work when you write the unit. But if you've done a lot of practice, you can Let's skip this part to save some time. Area 24 foot square and TI minus T out. I'm gonna put it quickly here. Inner temperature 68 Fahrenheit minus outer temperature 15 Fahrenheit. Again, use your calculator, multiply 0.449 by 24 and then times 68 minus 15. Uh, the result, so the answer of the Q is simply 571.13 BTU per hour. So you can quickly double check your units by, since you have a unit, right? So let's do it quickly together. So Foot square, foot square cancel out each other. Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit cancel out each other. All you have is BTU per hour, 571. So let's go back. 570 is very close. So the answer is part C. Uh, I go back to this in case you want to look at this, but this is my final answer. <clears throat> We we'll stop here and we'll do more questions like this in next videos. Thanks.